Hi, this is Nick Horrocks. Welcome to Inside Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. This is number one in a three-parter on color correction tools in Final Cut. And in this one we'll be looking at the color corrector three-way and how it can be used to enhance the visual uh, appearance of your programs. So to start with, we'll be looking at this shot. Um, which as you can see has got a lot of light areas, a lot of highlights and a lot of uh, you know dark areas as well. So and from a color point of view there's a very broad range of colors in this shot. Um, so that's a good, a good example. So what we'll do is select that and drop the color corrector three-way filter onto it. And we'll open that up in the viewer. and here you can see the three color wheels which are blacks, mids and whites. Um, these are the blacks in your image which you can adjust using a slider. Likewise with the whites it adjusts the white whites of your image and the mids sort of everything in between really. Down here is the saturation slider which you, so you can slide that down and desaturate and push it right up to boost the colors or anywhere in between. And all these controls are available in a numeric interface here which which is exactly the same tools just laid out differently. Um, I prefer the visual uh, interface because I, I find it easier. I'm a visual person rather than a numbers person. Um, but just to illustrate that, if we pop the blacks right up on here and the whites right down and then have a look on there, you can see that the black levels right up the top and the highlights as they're called in in this interface is right down. And if we put those back and go and have a look visual, you'll see there pretty near the, the center again. Um, these buttons here are for adjusting the levels uh, and matching a hue and matching a hue is something I'm going to look at in another uh, tutorial. We'll spend a, a tutorial on that uh, matching two similar shots but um, if we just hit the auto level you can see the image adjust slightly it's just gone a bit richer, the colors are a bit deeper and I often use the auto level button um, sort of as a default which is you know maybe it's a bad habit but uh, I think it just gives the shot a, a bit more depth and you can push if we command Z go back to where we were if we pop the upper levels that's the same sort of effect, minimal command Z and down again minimal but um, I prefer that. So, and you'll see that these sliders have moved very slightly. Okay, so if we copy this, well, let's, uh, if we do an Alt and Shift and you drag up, you'll get a duplicate. Um, I'll just show you what can be achieved using these controls. Um, if we open this one up, We'll take the saturation right down. Okay, that's sort of just just black and white, as it were. Well, what we can do is is just play with that a bit more. Give it some give it a real dramatic look. And in fact we'll tweak the mids. And so you go from that to that, which I think is quite nice. One thing to um, bear in mind when you're playing around with particularly the whites uh, and your levels is the luma. Now this really is only important if your output is being used for broadcast. Um, if you go up here, you can. There's a little thing here which says show excess luma 
and that does that. Now obviously because I've boosted those whites there's a lot of excess luma and the red means it's in broadcast terms it's termed illegal. It's an illegal colour so we have to drop that back if we want to use this for broadcast because we wouldn't get any broadcast worth the salt putting this out on air. So you do have to be careful. You know if it's for web use or it's a personal DVD I'm sure you know it'll be fine. You'll just about get away with that. But you know I like living dangerously. So if you wanted to compare a, a normal black and white shot with something a bit more dramatic I'll just open this up again drop that down and um, pop some music on there to make it a bit more interesting let's just render this so there we are black and white and something a bit more shiny I know which one I prefer now if we wanted to tint this um, slightly what we do let's double click this one um, this little blob in the middle is called the color balance indicator and what we'll do and we'll whack that right up there and just pull the saturation back up slightly so there you've got sort of a sepia feel coming through here just take it over to blue and you know maybe that's too much so pull the saturation back down you know it just gives it a nice feel so thanks for watching um, I hope you found that useful. Um, feel free to leave comments because I, I do like to know what people think of these, whether they're actually any use to anyone. Um, you can either email me at the website or go to my YouTube channel. Okay, so thanks again and see you soon, hopefully.